Guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. This is going to be another defensive ebook as I noticed that a lot of my videos have been pretty much 100% based around offense. Like I'm an offensive player, but you guys also need to run some defense to win games. So there you go. This is one of the best defenses in all of Madden. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're so close to hitting a thousand. Also, about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. This is insanity. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. But now let's get into it. I'm of course talking about the dollar defensive ebook. The base play out of this is going to be spinner, but I recommend having in our audibles DB Fire 2 as well. Now for our settings, we want auto flip defensive play call off. And we want to have our zone coverage on match that is important now it really does depend on what we are facing but this is going to be multi-part i'm going to make a dollar defensive ebook against punch tight and trips tight end so there you go you have all of your bases covered we're just going to start with the base splits base defense basically and then also about how we can defeat bunch because this is basically the defense against bunch just running it the way that you're gonna run it pretty much most of the time so spinner i'm gonna call spinner and on offense, let's see. I'm gonna call some on a bunch. Let's just call bunch trim. Why the hell not? And the thing that you wanna do for this, is you want to baseline press. That's going to be the uh, first two things that you do, which is going to be triangle, left stick to the right, triangle, left stick down. So now you see that I just reset it. If you baseline press and then do that same thing again, then the basically the alignment is gonna be reset. So we're gonna do this one more time. Baseline, which is triangle, left stick to the right. Baseline, and then press, which is triangle, left stick down. So there you go. This is how the play is supposed to look. Now you will notice that these guys, they're stacked on top of each other. That's no problem. That's perfectly fine. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this safety right here, Walker, move him in a little bit and man him up on the uh, tight end, just so that he's in a better position. If the play is stuck, he is manned up on the running back, but we are actually going to be the one covering the running back. So we want to man him up on X. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to shade over the top. That just ensures that we don't get bombs. We're going to shade over the top. Of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, shading over the top is not really that good because you just don't, you don't, you don't get pressed. And then that means that they get a free release. That's kind of true, but also you get bombed pretty much every single time you have a deep going uh, route. So thank you for telling me that my control is out of batteries, by the way. Next thing is we're going to click on Anzalone and put this guy into a hard flat. That is basically it. So we're going to baseline press, shade the coverage over top, take this safety, move him down, man him up on the tight end, and then put this guy in a hard flat. That sounds like a lot of adjustments, but believe me, you'll get that down pretty fast. Now, our responsibility in this is watching the running back. If the running back is on a wheel, that's our guy. If he's on an out route, he's our guy. If he's on an in route. So we got to watch the running back. If the running back is blocking, we can basically freelance. My bad, that was a voice crack. No, that was not a voice crack. Your headphones just messed up. Our job is covering the running back. If he's blocked, then we can just cover whatever we want. So I'm gonna put him on a wheel this time. And so I watch the running back. Okay, he's going out. Cool. I got him. I got him right there. Of course, it can be a little bit frustrating when they just quick throw that wheel against you. Oh, but that was the wrong controller, my bad. So once again, baseline press, show shade over the top, move this guy down, man him up, and then put X in a hard flat just like so. And we're going to snap the ball and you just go out here and you cover that and you're going to get a free rusher the same thing works out of db fire 2 so i'm just going to audible wrong controller again i'm going to audible to db fire 2 you set the play right here baseline press and that is it you only need to baseline press with ands alone you can man him up on r1 if you want but i like to keep him that word hook what happens if i okay if you have blitz all linebackers and then uh which is going to be right on the d-pad down on the right stick and then I zone them all which is right on the d-pad again and zone all and they are in hook curls and I kind of like hook curls a little bit more this year just because they are a little bit more aggressive on drags and stuff uh, meaning that we can undercut those a little more and with the blitz being so effective and us blitzing during this play it's better to have these routes uh, these zones kind of look down low you can also shade down on the outside if you want to but I'm not really that big a fan because that just makes it so incredibly easy that uh, for an opponent to know that corner outs are going to be open. But yeah, we just run the play like so. You see, we snap the play. Uh, we get actually right there. They did a pretty good job of blocking it just without anything. That was pretty impressive, actually. I'm not going to lie to you. But let's audible to DB Fire 2 again. And let's hope that this is not happening again. Right there. We get the 
shed. And that's a good thing about this defense as well. Just because we have five people rushing, that means it's going to be one-on-ones across the board. And that's just going to be a very nice thing to have, especially if you have some good pass rushers out there. What are some ways that our opponent can beat this? And the easiest thing in the world is just to put Adams on a C route. So you guys know how much I love these C routes. You see that we get cooked right there. So what are some adjustments that we can make to this if we see that this is happening? The first and simplest thing probably is to just put the guy in square in an outside third. So now if I run the same C route on offense, you see that this is now being covered. You see that Quandry Diggs making a play. And this looked kind of scary uh, because it looked like man coverage, but this is not going to play like man coverage at all. Press triangle twice, then square for Trayvon Diggs. Uh, and put him in an outside third just like so up on the left stick uh, by the way you can read everything from right here we can put him in an outside third we can put him in a soft squat cloud flat hard flat whatever so outside third is the way to beat this i'm gonna run this one more time just to really hammer home the point that this is going to get played once again absolutely bad there's no way that they can throw that so this is a base defense that's gonna take care of a lot of bunch users if you're facing someone very, very good at the game, then you're going to have to adjust out of this a little bit. But this should take care of just like the base layer of players. I can make a future video on this, but this is honestly what I would recommend you to run right now. It's, it is the most sim it is the simplest thing that I can imagine against Sponge. Of course, there are some other blitzes in the game that are nice as well, but this is probably the most effective because... It's light personnel against light personnel, meaning that we've got a lot of speed on the field. But now you might ask, what, Gregor, what do I do if they run the ball? So I'm going to set up the defense just like before. And what you, the only thing that you need to do is you need to shift the line to the right, in this case, because halfback base is going to, going to be going to the right. And you want to shoot down, and there you go. It is just naturally good run defense. That is something that a lot of bunch users have realized. If they try to run on this, it's not going to work. It's just pretty pretty solid run defense as is there's some gap shoots in this but honestly you don't even need to focus on the gap shoots if you just call this defense and uh shift the line to the right then this halfback base is going to be taken care of is right there you see we get people coming in from the right just because we have those double blitz in cornerbacks meaning that the edge gets sealed pretty nicely so it's just some great run defense as well there you go once again i'm gonna run, i'm gonna run through the setup baseline Triangle left stick to the right, press, triangle left stick down, move Walker in a little bit, put him on it, uh, put him on X, then hard flat out here, watch the running back. If you're afraid of a C route, then put square on a deep third, just like so. Then they snap the ball, gotta watch the running back. Okay, nothing's coming. I'm just gonna cover whatever I think I need to cover. But yeah, that's it for the uh, for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by subscribing to the channel. We're so close, guys. We're so close. Check out some of the links in the description. Got my Twitch over there. But I'll be streaming a lot on YouTube as well. So that is the plan for the next coming weeks that I stream some more on YouTube. I'm out of here. I appreciate you guys for taking the time watching the video. And yeah, see you in the next parts, which, in which I'm going to break down trips tight end and tight. And just in general, some more sophisticated gap shoots if you guys are really into the pro level defense. I'm out of here. Peace.